Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome. We're just outside the Wang Jin Street, where Arlington Homes are based, and uh, these are the guys who are uh, uh, evicting these young people. So, why are you here today? We're here to show Annington that it's not all over because we lost court and we're here to say that we're, we're fighting back. We are fighting back. Okay. And what have they done to you, Annington, to you and your family? Well, they evicted us and they've sent them, they put us in emergency accommodation in Enfield, Ponders End, mm -hmm. um, and which we had to wake up at 5 o'clock to go to school, to go to school early. And... Um, and now they've um, now they've moved us to High Barnet, which is near our school. But the house is really small. My bed my bedroom is like I don't even think we could fit a bed in there. And that's so, Barnet Council. Yeah. So tell us some more about what Annington are doing. What are they doing to the houses that you used to live in? Well, um, they're. Um, they're like knocking them down and building. What, well, all of them? Pardon? Knocking them all down? Yeah, all of Sweet Spain. Every single house? Yeah. And then, what, is there something wrong with them? No, they're, they're perfectly fine. They're perfectly fine houses. There's nothing wrong with them. So why are they knocking them down? To build unaffordable houses that they say they are affordable, which none of the people that live on Streetway can afford them. Okay, uh, so I have to point out the people that uh, who are watching, uh, when they say affordable housing, the BBC don't point out that if it's afford affordable housing, you need to earn something like £59,000 a year, and you need to have a deposit of about £100,000 in order to uh, qualify for those affordable houses. And the same thing with the 80% uh, 80 uh, 80 uh, market rate for the rent. Uh, it's still going to be uh, 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 basically unaffordable to most people. So they're knocking down all the houses that basically you could maybe define as poor people living to build houses for rich people to live in. Yeah. That is outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. Is that outrageous? Because they don't want poor people in Barnet. So what are we doing to stop them from doing that? We're fighting back. And we're, how are we doing that? Well, we're, get, we're occupying houses and, um, yeah. We're, and we've, got, we've occupied a five-bedroom house, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. We were in a two-bedroom, yeah, but now we've now extended our portfolio okay. to a five-bedroom. Yeah. Okay. And we have a, a, a social centre. What goes on in the house? Well, uh, well everything goes on. Like, um, like, on Easter, we're doing an Easter egg hunt. For everybody that, everybody that wants to come along, they're welcome. So it's open to anybody and everybody that wants to support us that is willing to give them time, to give ta their time to support us. And when we say we, we're talking about the resident, the ex-residents of Sweet Sway, Barnet Housing Action Group, Focus E15 Mums, and lots of other activists that are joining us. Uh, we have also just found last night the local church are very interested in joining in with our campaign yeah. okay. and are going to be donating their hall for our next public meeting which we're really pleased about. One thing that we're really sad about is when we came home yesterday after managing to secure one of the tenants in Sweetsway to be retaken on by Barnet Housing and housed in a flat. There was a lady there waiting for us, um, really distraught. She lives in a building, uh, a mini sort of tower block, 37 evictions that are going to be happening there now. This is in Barnet as well. So, which um, uh, another estate? Yeah, it's not. It's a tower block. So I haven't actually got the name of it with me at the moment. So we're going to be starting a campaign there now what? as well. There's a fourth one now. Week. Yeah, uh. Th uh, one of them is. Three of them have already been evicted. There's 37 to go. One of the ones that was evicted was given the keys and told that she had to be in Luton by eight o'clock the following morning. So that is going to be our, our next campaign. So people know now, if you have problems with housing and you live in Barnet, come to us at the social centre uh -huh. at Sweetsway and we will help you in whatever way we can. The more of us to get together, the stronger we are. Okay, I know guys, yeah, that's, it is actually a, it's a, it's a travesty now that it's becoming, it's, uh, no, it's really getting, it's getting bad now where, I know the whole of, okay, this is a Barnet, okay, one of the most corrupt councils in the whole damn country. And what they want to do is this, is like they want to get rid of all the working class people and then get rid of them and then the tower blocks will become safe deposit boxes for rich people who are actually non, uh, non domicile they're based off uh, Jersey and Guernsey 
and then the uh, and then this house as well, which will be they'll be bought by uh, some investor, and then they will be um, rented out to somebody, and then that person will be uh, paying for that uh, for the investor's uh, mortgage, along with uh, so many things like <laughs> along with I don't know the uh, housing benefits that are being paid for the taxpayer going straight to these uh, uh, to these landlords. It's a uh, it's a it's a crazy situ situation. And remember this. 70 housing estates in London are under threat. That translates to 160,000 flats. That's never mentioned by the BBC, okay? That's 70 housing estates, 160,000 uh, flats. That's homes for people that are being un that's, that are under threat. It's not just it's not just oh 60 uh, 60 uh, uh, minuscule number of uh, of uh, housing here. That's that's a lot of people that's, uh, that, are, that are going to be evicted. Anyway, thanks. This is Obi. Uh, yeah, Obi, One James Street, Arlington Homes. Check it out. Also check out Guy Hands and Terra Firma. That's the uh, Guy Hands is the uh, tax dodger. Terra Firma is a tax dodging uh, private equity firm. Anyway, peace out. See you later and please subscribe. Occupy this network.